In just 10 years, the census of marine life has given us a new understanding of the sea. New animals, new habitats, new relationships. But in many ways, this is only the beginning. The census created a baseline against which future change can be measured. It challenged marine biologists to use the most advanced technology, and it laid the groundwork for global biological monitoring systems. It also created a place to store and share the knowledge gathered during this and future projects. This free online database called OBIS is the largest repository of information on what lives in the ocean and where. But perhaps the greatest legacy of the Census of Marine Life is the teams of people and partnerships it created. It established an international network of researchers working together to study the sea. It broke down barriers, encouraging sharing of resources, data and ideas. It helped train and support the next generation of scientists in universities and classrooms across the globe and it empowered researchers to explore deeper, further, and more intensely than ever before. The knowledge gained by the Census of Marine Life has fostered science-based marine management decisions and has given policymakers the facts they need to create new laws to preserve and protect ocean life. But no matter where scientists went or what they found, one fact continually emerged. There is still much left to learn. The census of marine life has charted a course for future exploration and understanding of what lives in the sea. And thanks to the unprecedented body of knowledge it has generated, we are now better equipped to unlock secrets in our vast and mysterious global ocean.